The governorship candidate of the Social Democratic Party, Senator Magnus Abbey, will not be accepting any olive branch from the People's Democratic Party. He said an election where thousands of people who would have voted for the SDP were prevented from doing so could not have been free and fair. Senator Abe cites an example of politically motivated arrests of his supporters before and during the election, many of whom are still in detention. Genocidal violence that was meted out to groups suspected of having sympathy for the SDP or trying to vote for the SDP is unprecedented even in the history of reverse politics. The SDP candidate lost in all four local government areas that make up his native Ogoni land. He said this could only have been possible because majority of the registered voters in his supposed stronghold were disenfranchised. If you see in Kana, all the ballot papers were mixed up, everything was done. At the end of the day, the total votes in Kana was less than 6,000 and I'm not ready for election. There are conflicting figures about the actual death toll from the election, but for the All Progressives Congress, the level of violence raises valid questions of credibility for the entire process. Our argument is that the system, the process, was skewed with irregularities. It was fraught with irregularities. And we are demanding, and we are saying, that ordinarily, the INEC should have lived above board. By ensuring that there is and there was transparency in whatever the process they were conducting. The APC said INEC was hasty in declaring a winner without investigating allegations of compromised electoral officials. How would any reasonable and sensible political party accept the outcome or the results? Uh, that comes out from such a process. Both parties are still in consultation to decide whether to challenge the PDP's victory in court. But even that may not help their cause as the judiciary has never overturned a governorship election result in River State.